Now, recently, ChatGPT launched plugins very publicly. We've got it right here. And if you want to go on the wait list to get plugins, I'll put the URL underneath this video. But just click join plugins wait list and then you can fill out the details. But as we know, there's, there's their own plugins, which they have three of. And then they've got these plugins right here, which are the a kind of third party official plugins ready to go. Uh, however, uh, a gentleman on Twitter was playing around with the API and discovered that actually there is access to 80, 80 different plugins already. So there's a whole load of them. Here you go. It's uh, Res Zero on Twitter. And um, I'll put a link to uh, for you to be able to follow him as well. But he was messing around basically with the chat GPT API and then discovered a whole raft of uh, plugins that you could connect to. Uh, look at all these. Let me just bring it right into focus here. So we know about Wolfram, Alpha, Klarna, Expedia and Zapier and so on. Zapier, by the way, I feel is going to be massive. Think of the things you can do with that when you can connect chat GPT to everything. But look at all these other different ones here. We've got like Quadrant and uh, Pandora I Am. This one here says Pandora is the identity and access management platform that manages Netflix workforce and partner something or other. Um, Price Runner. This plugin lets users find relevant products when asking for any kind of shopping suggestions. There's so many Vogue plugins. Search through Vogue's articles. The Evil plugin. Don't ask me what that does. Um, Instacart we know about already. Send email. A plugin to send emails. So there's a whole load of them here. Open table we know about already. Um, the Dan plugin, the infamous Dan plugin that kind of changes chat GPT's personality. That's there. And it looks like, you know, that's already been installed uh, by someone. You've got install and uninstall. A uh, few other different ones down the bottom here. NBA stats. Uh, there's another one here. A froggy plugin. I can't quite see what that does. Uh, evil status. So there's a whole load of these uh, crazy plugins. Another one there for NBA standings as well. Uh, up to date status of the NBA playoff picture and NBA standings. And if you want to um, see all of these, by the way, you can just go to uh, my chat GPT users group. I've put a link for you to be able to just easily go and follow uh, res underscore underscore on Twitter. And then you can have a good look at the image there as well. Um, again, there'll be a link underneath that. There's a community now of nearly three uh, and a half thousand. There was more than three and a half thousand people in the community, all obsessed with AI and chat GPT. So you might like it there. Now, the other thing I did was actually go over to chat GPT. And using the GPT Model 4, I asked it, can you tell me some cool things you'll be able to do with chat GPT plugins? Just to see if it was kind of suggesting plugins that might be being made in the future. And here, here we are. I think we did actually see just over here, the first one. It's saying about language uh, translation plugin. So I guess that really means that someone can type in their language into a chatbot it translates it into your chosen language and you can literally just have a conversation back and forward with immediate translation. Then uh, the next one, it says about advanced programming assistance. Well, we know about that because one of the plugins that they actually have already that's built in, uh, which is just around here somewhere, there's the browsing plugin. That's one of theirs. And then the other one is the code interpreter. So that's that's theirs. And they've already got a an amazing built in plugin for that a domain specific knowledge. So plugins can be created to enhance chat GPT's knowledge in specific fields. So that's really good. The fact that you can kind of connect into data on medicine, law or finance so you can get up to date, relevant information. Uh, improved sentiment analysis. So by using sentiment analysis plugin, ChatGPT can better understand the emotions conveyed in text, enabling more emphatic, uh, oh sorry, empathetic, should I say, not emphatic, and nuanced responses. Image recognition and generation, we know that that's coming as well. GPT-4 did say that it could already uh, recognize images, understand what's in them and give you information about them, although it hasn't actually gone live yet within GPT-4. 
Uh, then we have voice assistants. Uh, with the voice recognition and synthesis plugin, ChatGPT can become a powerful voice activated assistant capable of performing tasks and answering questions through spoken language. And I think that's quite fun. You know, I already tend to speak to ChatGPT anyway, just by using the built in uh, Mac voice dictation. You can just literally just speak the prompts out. Obviously, it doesn't speak back at this point, um, at least through the the main uh, control panel here. But um, I think that's going to be a really good one. The fact that you can kind of talk back and forward with the chat GPT. And I think I saw just on one of these plugins just here. I'm sure there was one called Speak, actually. There it is. Speak. Learn how to say anything in another language with speak. OK, so, yeah, no, that wasn't a pure uh, voice back and forward one. Let's go back over to here a second. Custom personalities. Well, we, we know about that because we've got the Dan plugin. Uh, plugins can be developed to give ChatGPT a specific personality or role, such as a helpful assistant, a witty comedian, or a knowledgeable teacher. That's just going to be uh, uh, hilarious. Task automations. Uh, we can do that with APIs. And educational tools can be enhanced with plugins that cater to different learning styles and educational requirements, such as language learning, math tutoring, and history lessons. And I think that's one of the big uses, actually, of ChatGPT is going to be in education. I know, obviously, education as a whole is, is probably very alarmed by the effects of uh, ChatGPT and artificial intelligence and kids cheating and using it to create homework. I know they are en masse right now. The education system, in my opinion, is going to have to adapt and fairly quickly here to be able to make sure that kids are, are genuinely doing the work and, and the information is going in. But the thing is, is I, I do think that it can really help in education uh, hugely. And it also helps teachers, you know, lesson planning and things like that. It can really, really help set them up. So there's a lot of good that it can do in education, I feel. Uh, gaming and storytelling by incorporating plugins that understand game mechanics, character development or narrative structures. ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for game designers or an interactive storytelling companion. I mean, yeah, ChatGPT, we already know, is writing full storybooks for people. So I'm very sure it could uh, do a great job of enhancing a game and game development. So uh, like it says there, that's just a few examples of what can be achieved with the ChatGPT plugins. I'm sure there's going to be some absolutely genius plugins uh, on the way once it's all open. There'll probably be some kind of a marketplace just like there is with Chrome, you know, and you've got your extensions. And I think there'll be a ton of companies and individuals around the world able to to really pull out the best of ChatGPT and hopefully, you know, use it all for good. So that's the plan, isn't it? with artificial intelligence as we actually use it to enhance our lives and make things better um, and uh, faster and more efficient. So hopefully it will carry on in that way. And so, yeah, once again, if you want to join uh, my chat GPT group, if you fancy getting involved here, it's free to join. No charge. Just come on in and uh, you can just get it, get stuck in and chatting with all of these AI nuts. And some of these people in here are brilliant. They're making some fantastic discoveries. Uh, adding prompts in here that they found out and about and it's really really useful and it's very very active as well as always uh, people I mean right now there's 18 people online uh, just chatting away and looking at posts so it's all good thanks very much for watching this video and uh, once again you know well done to uh, res zero underscore underscore who has discovered all of these 80 plugins here that you found through the API before OpenAI closed that little loophole and stopped anybody peeking and uh, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video.